A METRO WOMAN WHO HELPS SENIOR CITIZENS AND OTHERS THROUGHOUT THE COMMUNITY WITH HER BUSINESS IS NOW WITHOUT A CAR AND SHE NEEDS HER CAR FOR HER BUSINESS. AND TO MAKE MATTERS WORSE, SHE SAYS POLICE TOLD HER THE THEFT MAY HAVE BEEN PART OF A TIKTOK CHALLENGE. NEWS FOR'S AUSTIN Brissett IS ON CRIME WATCH. I REALLY DON'T KNOW. I SAID, I WAS AT LOSS. I WAS JUST, I JUST HAVE NEVER HAD NOTHING LIKE THIS HAPPEN. This is Elizabeth Farrar's 2016 Kia Soul at a Metro Wrecker service after it was stolen just before New Year's Eve. Cases of beer inside with some of the bottles open along with trash and a busted steering column. It smells very strong with weed. Farrar uses her Kia to help senior citizens and others across the community. But when she went to leave work on Friday, she quickly noticed there was a problem. I went out there and I was like, okay, no car. To make things worse, it was on her anniversary. She went and asked her husband if he had seen it, but he hadn't. So they searched, realizing it was gone, and then called the police. We were just like, really? We looked at each other and just kind of laughed. The next day on New Year's Eve, Farrar says police found it in more. Officers telling her they think the theft may have been a part of the TikTok Kia challenge, where people break into Kias with a USB connector, hotwire them, then drive away. He said because it's exactly trashed and the steering columns busted. It's exactly how they, they do it. But she says police also found some other clues, a phone and a charger cable inside the stolen Kia. But Farrar says she's at a loss without the car. That car is what I go and buy, you know, things for the store. I give people rides. I don't know what else to do because it just breaks my heart seeing it. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. Austin, thank you. You can find a GoFundMe link on our website to help Elizabeth at KFOR.com.